So as you can see, we're uh, starting on the brakes while uh, Jeff and I are welding up the transmission at his shop. Um, we started on some other stuff with the brakes. So we're going to stainless steel braking uh, brake lines. Um, we're going to do three different master cylinders. So one for the front, one for the rear, and one for the clutch. And then we got a sweet pedal set up from Willwood as well. So I figured uh, brakes are important, obviously. Uh, you can go as fast as you want, but you still got to stop. Uh, and I, I've gone with uh, six piston Willwoods um, before. And I don't know if we've seen those or not. Let me see if I can get you in there. I don't know if you can see those or not, but there are Willwoods in there. They're six piston. Um, those were put on probably, oh, it's got to be four or five years ago. So just continuing the fashion. Um, I got disc brakes in the rear. Those are GM metrics, so single piston, but um, all these, uh, all these uh, master cylinders have been specced out to be the right size for the fronts and the rears. So today we're going to do this. Got my trusty bender over there, and uh, let's get started. So maybe I was a little confusing at the beginning. So you saw the stainless steel brake line and then you see that I'm using AN or a stainless steel braided line here. Um, yes, correct. Uh, so that can be a little confusing as to what I'm actually doing. But so I am running AN uh, stainless steel braid line from here and from here. And we are going around, move this out of the way this other side it's here so from here this is where I will start the stainless steel line and start bending it through um, pretty well the, the what a regular brake line would be like for these cars all the way to the front so that's where we will go next all right so we're gonna start bending this stuff this is how it comes it's coiled stainless steel quarter inch line is what we're gonna be running to the back um, you got to put your fittings on first, which is why this guy's hanging down here. He'll actually scoot all the way up, but then you got to flare your own. Um, there's better flaring tools, but this is the one that I use uh, just because I have it accessible. Um, so once we get it in there, uh, we'll start making bends with this bender here, and that will give us our 90s, 45s, whatever we need. Um, and then, so as you notice, this is all coiled. That's how it comes um, I got a straightener, I think from eBay, I think it was like 50 or 80 bucks, I can't remember. It works really well. So um, you're able to adjust this last guy and run it back and forth. This piece goes in the vise, so it sits in there like this. You clamp it down, um, it locks in place, and you just roll it back and forth through those rollers, and that straightens it out. So let's see how we do on the flares. Okay, so we just got done doing the flare. Um, looks like it did pretty good. Uh, we will see once we get this undone, um, pull it out, and then see how it meets up to that fitting that we have at the end. Ta-da! Exactly what it's supposed to look like, right? So, the camera focus in there. That's gonna work. It does a pretty decent job. Nothing. Uh, Nothing too particular to that, but it gives a nice bevel. The next one I'll probably bring a little bit more out so I get a bit more um, hit on that. And you can see there's pieces. Um, I found some crap that was from in the inside. So just make sure you get all that stuff out before you plumb it all up together. So now we go bend it. Okay, so got it plumbed in. Um, it's somewhat tight. So this is gonna be the bend. So we're gonna come here. I'm going to go over, finally get to the, the rail, run it through here. I'll have it clipped to some sort, and then we got to figure out where we're going to go. These are subframe connectors, and run it all the way up the frame. Um, let's see here. 
Yeah, if we run it, we can run it on the outside or the inside of the frame because um, ultimately we got to get to this area where the brake system is going to be. So got a little bit, little bit of a, a run, but shouldn't be too bad. So I'll bend it a couple times with the bender and uh, just basically test fit it and go from there. Okay, once again, uh, there's this, the end. Um, I started bending this to fit the contour of the car by hand. Um, as you can see, this is gonna fit probably closer to the frame rail, just like that. What I'll be using is these guys. That's probably the bigger one. Um, these are the smaller guys here. These uh, with some zip screws, which have just a, a bit on the end. I think I got these from Fastenal. Um, actually, I know I did, um, and they work really well for, you know, frame or any thick metal, any anywhere we can get to. All right, so yeah, we ended up going to the frame. Um, I got to keep reminding myself this isn't going to be like a flat out 1500 horsepower drag car. So uh, secured it to the frame. I'm going to, what I'd like to do is run this through this gap and then come up out on this other side here on the other side of the frame rail, because with that V12, there's a, there's not going to be much room in here and I don't want to um, get the headers too close to this, uh, to the brake line. I just don't want that to happen. So gonna do what I can. Um, so I'll have to trim these, this part off, but I can't trim this until I got the pedal assembly in on there, which is gonna be another custom piece. So I'm gonna start on that next. And this is what they look like. Put them together. This will mount to the firewall like so. And then you do that. Sorry for the crappy camera work. We're gonna do that, the pedals will hang. Just like little legs, right? Do, do, do. Just kidding. Uh, so I will drill those holes and everything to mount a plate up there. These will then come through. And on the other side of those, will be these. And these are the master cylinders. One for the clutch, one for the front, one for the rear. So we'll get started on mounting the pedal assembly. Okay, so I have made a template for the pedals out of cardboard. The pen's just holding it in there. So once I, I have to order the plate in order to get that, um, it already comes with the holes pre-drilled and, and set up for um, the Willwood piece, <clears throat> the Willwood pedals here. So it, it reflects that, so it will go straight in. Now the issue is, is that once I have that mounted, um, with that plate, I would then weld it out because um, it is steel. It's uh, 316 steel. Um, that's fine, but if you go into the inside, <clears throat> there's no support. So originally, there, if on a 68 Camaro, there's these four bolts that hold it and then a big chunk of metal that comes up and shield and then they attach to um, these points right there and here. Kind of holds everything together real nice. And, and that way when you push on the pedal, it actually pulls on these and it helps with keeping that firewall from flexing. That's ultimately what we're after is no flex. So I took that piece out and it used to have uh, bolts there that ran through that firewall and again this ties in there so well, what i have to do is now um, i crudely made a cut mark of how to clear everything i'm going to try to do this one-handed and apologize again for the crappy camera work today but so that in order for that to line up i got to cut all that out which is why my marks are there 
and then this will actually be able to sit where it needs to in that, which is uh, like right there. Ta-da. So I know it may not look like it's gonna work, but it will. What I probably will do is weld on brackets that come out from um, up top here and then use these uh, four mount bolts to bolt it to this rather than uh, weld it all as one piece, unfortunately. But um, I think that's the route we're gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Got the stand back for the camera, so that should be a little better. All right, so I did cut it out. Um, obviously not much left here, but the whole point of this was to have this piece support um, the firewall that goes back to the top of the dash or the other piece there. So as long as all this ties in, it'll be good. This will end up getting pinched um, together with everything, uh, with the, the new plate that's coming. Um, obviously we're gonna have to make a few more uh, cuts because this is in the way of the master cylinder and so is this, but ultimately you get what we're trying to do here. Uh, this These pieces will have to be uh, this will have to be welded onto the plate that's actually gonna be bolted up there. And then this will mount to that. So this has to fit, which is why we cut it there. And you can see how uh, tight fit it is in there now. Um, so this all will get mounted firewall, steering piece uh, securement, I don't know, under the dash somewhere. And then we'll weld off brackets from these pieces uh, to tie into here to here so that again, um, when you push on these, it's not going to want to flex the firewall or flex this piece here. So it's going to work. It's just going to take a little bit more progress. So a little more time, a little more progress. It'll be all right. So I think that's as far as we're going to get today, though. See what uh, happens tomorrow.